there welcome back to my channel it is of course chelsea of she designs things all right so this video is going to be super short <laughs> i am you know in the process of editing my um template creation video and i decided that i wanted to um make this video a little bit shorter just something super short precise and to the point because i've said this several times but i, I kind of figured that I don't really explain this part very well because I don't know I figure everyone has options <laughs> and I'm like figure it out so I'm gonna share with you how I take screenshots of my sites in order for me to create mock-ups um, this is something that can be done using your iPad you can use any device that you want but considering I mostly work um, from my desktop I use a browser extension called Go Full Page. So this is Go Full Page right here. Um, you can see that it does have quite a lot of users, something like six million plus users. It is a Chrome browser extension and it's literally like $12 a year. If you are in web design or web development, um, I highly, 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 highly highly one more time for those in the back highly highly recommend having this <laughs> it makes the process so much easier so i just finished um homestead furnishings which is a google site which also features a blogger theme for the blog just so we're clear blogger slash blogspot is a different platform I do not have videos addressing um, my template process for Blogger Blogspot because that requires me to get a little bit more into um, the syntax of HTML and CSS for Blogger specifically, and I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not comfortable teaching that just yet. So here we have Homestead Furnishings, and this is the homepage layout. I am using my full screen. That's why you're able to see kind of like everything laid out here. Um, and so the only thing I do is press F12 because I'm on a PC and that will bring me into um, the kind of developer options, your lighthouse mode. This is how I'm able to take um, my screenshots if I want to look at it from an iPad or if I want to use a say an iPhone 12 Pro or if I want to use um, say <laughs> I was using an iPad Pro or a Surface Pro 7 or if I want to have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and you can also put on your own um, sort of dimensions here if you want to take a go full page screen so here it is I'm gonna just set it to responsive which will allow you to pull it like drag it just like this um, but I'm not really gonna utilize that at the moment so for example I'm just gonna exit this screen and I'm gonna click go full page and that's gonna take a full page screenshot of what I have here now I almost never take a um, full screen go full page full screen like this using my monitor because my monitor is entirely too large for most of my mock-ups this is a 32 inch display so if i were to try to drag and drop this into one of my canva assets so i'm going to just show with you download the image and here is the canva file that i'm working with right here and i'm just going to drag it and drop it in here and now I'm going to drag it over to here. We can kind of see that it doesn't really fit fit inside of the screen because, well, this is a laptop. So the responsiveness and the layout is fairly different. You know, it does not look as it naturally would if I was actually using a laptop. So for me, I don't ever take one using my actual full display with because, again, completely different size than most people have. So going back here, I like to actually just take the, <laughs> the um, design and instead of me, 
you know, going into the lighthouse mode to make it smaller. I do just minimize it to about here. I've gotten really, really familiar with what actually works. So I'm going to say that this is about where I want it to be. Um, and I can see how this will affect the fonts. <laughs> just a little tip there. <laughs> if you're trying to get a layout to look a certain way on a certain device, do this. You see how it's adjusting the fonts and the size of the assets and the thickness of these little icons that I have in here. Just pay close attention to those things. Yeah, <laughs> super important. So that's a little tip that I have. Um, but also it's, it's going to adjust the um, banner image so that I get kind of a cleaner image and the best image possible. So if I like want to have more of the plants in these table here in the chair, then this is probably the best layout um, for my needs. And this layout is actually probably what I would work with anyway. So I'm just going to screenshot it. And when you do a screenshot like this, um, it does not complete all the way down at the bottom. So you do get a white bar and that is, that has to do, I think more so with, um, the frame rate in which the screenshot is taking the screen grab faster than the page is able to render. And therefore it's not rendering the column along the side, um, as quickly because it's not necessary. If put it this way, if you were to take a screenshot um, and you were to have this all filled in, this would actually repeat this part here every, every so often. And that is because this doesn't move. This is a sort of a sticky navigation. It doesn't move, which is why it's just showing up as white once you get down towards that bottom part. All right. So now I'm just going to download it. I think I already did, but whatever, <laughs> it's not going to hurt to do it again. Set this as the full display, drag it and drop it in here. Let's bring it up just so I can see. And we see that it is a difference in size. The, the larger display one is much wider and this one is much more narrow. And so now I am going to just drag it over here and I'm going to pull this down just to adjust it. And that is an appropriate this looks like what you would see if you were on a laptop. So that is perfect. And now just so you, we can see what it would look like if you're using a phone, I am going to enter F12, which will bring me into that lighthouse mode. And I like to always go with the iPhone 12 pro. And then it doesn't matter if you're down here at the bottom and also don't worry if you're logged in and you see the pencil, the pencil will not stay. Unfortunately, the eye icon does stay. It's not something you can get rid of, but you know, I find that I, it's a site, <laughs> it functions. And with the way most people abandon their sites and they look God awful, <laughs> I will deal with the little eye icon. So now I'm just going to press the go full page, which will automatically start from the top and go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we here. <laughs> Please don't pay me any attention. I had way too much coffee this morning. So. Now we can see that it is quite clear. It's a nice, large, clear and clean shot. I am going to download it. It's downloading it as a PNG. When you do upload it into Canva, keep in mind, Canva makes it look blurry. That's why you're seeing it look blurry. I do go over this part, like why it looks blurry um, inside of my video, but I just want to make this a little bit different. So backwards. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my upload, drag this in here and then just kind of drag this down just so we can see occasionally I won't. Sometimes when I do this, I don't do the original header. If I want to have like a different style or show like a different section, I'll start with a section that I think looks pretty cool. Um, or something that looks, you know, just, just looks a little bit different. I'll do something like this. And now I just need to click on that phone and bring the phone forward. All right. And so now this is page five and I'm going to download 
Page five is a PNG with a transparent background because that's what I downloaded as if I'm going to be using it on my site, which usually um, this being a limited release, limited release sites do not go on um, any third party sites. They literally just are sold only on my limited release store, which can only be purchased on limited.shedesignsthings.com, nowhere else. So now we just hit download. <laughs> and we're going to select page five. And remember, I said this looks blurry, looks kind of crazy in here. But when I bring up the PNG, it does not look goofy like that. <laughs> so it's really not something I have to worry about. Now, what I can do too, if I'm like, oh, I don't really like the way it looks per se, because I only downloaded it as a 1000 by 600, I can increase the size, make it even larger download it again just so you can see that again it is a really clean image that comes out of here and there you go and you can see everything nice and clear um, and this is just how I create my mock-ups and then of course you guys know what I do with my mock-ups I create I add them to my sites I use them in my Behance profile. I use them um, in my marketing after a design is complete. It's a part of my template creation process in which I start the marketing process for that template. Now, I do sometimes have multiple templates going on at once, so it does get a little bit hectic <laughs> when I have multiple templates going on at once, but I try to complete a template before moving on to another one. But anyways, that's it. That's how I do these mock-ups very quickly. Just so you know, I use again, go full page, which is a Chrome browser extension. Um, and I'll just leave a link to this browser extension down below. It's no affiliation with it. It's just something that, you know, I use. And I want to say a lot of people use, and you probably use yourself, but you didn't even realize that that's what you were using. I will make a separate video about how I take, <laughs> how I, um, take screenshots and how I actually edit using my iPad if you guys want. I'll do the screenshots but I'll, I'll explain the editing um, Google Sites on an iPad in a different video. I was supposed to make it but you know life happens and whatever. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again so much for watching and of course, see ya!